Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I wanted to talk to you guys about my February Ipsy Glam Bag Plus. Talk about all the products in there and then we're also going to go over what's inside of my March Glam Bag Plus. So all of my February products are in this little container here. So I'm going to go over them with you guys and let you guys know my thoughts, my opinions, whether the box was worth the $25 to me. And then like I said, we have our March box. So we're going to see what's inside of here, see if they've struck it out of the park again or not. So let's see the first item in here is the it cosmetics this is the geno sequa palette i love this palette i love the it cosmetics like face powders and stuff like that so like their blushes are really really good i don't have any issues with their blushes this blush is actually a really beautiful color it's like a spring like color in my opinion it's very springy then the baba pores here this is you guys know one of my favorite setting powders ever so I didn't realize I had had this in here and then I purchased another one and then of course now it's coming up in the 21 days of beauty sale and I'm like goodness do I need more probably because it's one of my favorites then we have the bronzer here the bronzer is actually really nice as well this highlighter is like so pretty I love the highlighter because it gives you almost that glow from within like the ethereal look so do you see how it kind of just gives that really pretty glow from within type of look on your skin it's gorgeous I love this palette the only thing bad about the palette is that it gets really fingerprinted but I mean come on how do you beat getting a full-size a cosmetics powder palette in your box I think this was a fantastic value but let me find my little card here so I can tell you guys the price of everything so we have uh-oh, that's not it. Well, guys, I have no idea where my card is. So I'm going to have to insert the prices in the description box below for you guys because I have no idea where I've put my card. So either way, I know this was like at least $30. So this was a very good value. So for me, by itself, this made the box worth $25 for me. If Even if I just got this, I'd have been happy. I would have been very, very happy. So I'm very happy with that. I know for some people it's not going to work for everybody because the colors are somewhat light. So I'm hoping they kind of gave you options for like the depth of your skin and things like that. But I don't know that they did or not. So hopefully they did. I'm kind of hoping Ipsy was smart enough to do that. The next thing in here is this right here. This is by the brand Beauty Filter Glow. No, is that the brand name? Either way, this is called the Beauty Filter Glow. So it's in a glass jar. This is really fancy. I like pinky out when I'm using this. It smells really, really good. It reminds me of the Bobbi Brown face base, the way it smells. It smells very, I just put it on my lip. Oh my gosh. It smells a lot like the Bobbi Brown face base. It feels a lot like the Bobbi Brown face base. This is basically a primer. So for me, I feel like this is a dupe for the Bobbi Brown face base. I think this is very, very nice. I really enjoy using this. This is Korean brand. So it does have a 12 month expiration date on it. This is Sun and Park Beauty Filter Cream Glow. So that's what it's called. But yes, this is a very, very good product. I, like I said, I think it could go head to head to my Bobbi Brown face base because they're very comparable and it gives my skin that extra hydration that it needs, but it doesn't feel tacky or sticky or anything like that. And it doesn't look oily. It's just giving you that hydration so your skin doesn't look parched. It just gives you that plumpness because of it plumping up, your, because of it giving moisture to your skin. It makes your skin look a little bit more plump. Really love this. I really, really love that. That is awesome to get in the box. The next thing I'm like a little so-so about. This is by Tony Moly. This is called the Chalk Chalk, the Green Tea Watery Essence. I don't know why, but I just don't love this. For some reason, when I put this on, I'm just like, okay, it's fine, but it's not impressive. So maybe it's because it's an essence and I need more hydration than that. I know you can like pile on essences with other things. It's got definitely a very watery like consistency to it. It smells a little bit like I would say more like matcha tea than green tea I'd say it smells like matcha tea in my opinion so it smells definitely very much like tea it just isn't very hydrating I think it feels like water and then all of a sudden it's gone it's like evaporates so it's like setting water out into the sun and it's just going to evaporate that's what it feels like when you put it on your skin it feels nice and hydrating when you first put it on it gives almost like a like you spritz like a morphe setting spray or just the setting spray onto your skin that's what it feels like but like i said it just kind of sinks sinks in and goes away quickly but it is an essence so and that's what essences are supposed to do but i just don't feel like it's hydrating enough for me something about it i'm just like why don't you give me more hydration this gives me tons of hydration so i guess i can't complain we've got one really hydrating one not so hydrating so if you don't have dry skin perhaps you're probably loving this so i just think it's not that that, that good for dry skin the next thing is from Tarte. This is called the Dream Big Palette. So it looks like this right here. I always get confused how to open it because it's got the writing here, but you open it on the side. So here's what it looks like. I like this palette. Do I love this palette? No. 
So for me, the reason why I don't love this palette is I feel like they give you two colors in here. They give you a really light and a really dark. I wish they would have given you like an in-between color because I don't know. And all the rest in here are like satin shades and it's just a really cute palette, but it's not one that I personally am going to be pulling out of my collection a lot just to use. The colors are very typical, the pink and the purple we've seen pretty much everywhere in Tarte's palettes. And then the rest are just browns. We have some neutrals. So it's not anything that's extraordinary. It's a good palette. It's not anything wrong with it. I personally would not have picked it up and purchased it though is what I'm trying to say. I'm trying to be better about the items that I purchased for my makeup collection and knowing that okay I have so many neutral palettes you don't need another one of those. Like today I'm actually wearing a very pretty palette. This is the Tarte palette. This is Tarte uh, High Tides and Good Vibes palette. So that's what it looks like on my eyes. I love this palette so it's very very nice. But this one is just mediocre. It's just mediocre. Then we have the lipstick product. This is the Finding Ferdinand, and this is in the shade Knob Hill Red. I don't like red lipsticks, guys. I've learned I just don't like them, so I barely swipe this on my lips. I'm going to pass this along to somebody else that's going to love this. I just don't like red on me. Every time I wear red, I'm so self-conscious that I'm going to end up looking like a clown, that I'm like... I'm very self-conscious the whole time. I feel like I need to do this when I talk to people, so I'm not worried about it being on my teeth or like outside of the lines. I'm just not a huge red lipstick fan. So for me, there was nothing wrong with the lipstick formula or anything. It's just that it's red and I don't like red lipstick. So other than that, I think it was fine. So for me, was the box worth it? Because I was everything in here. I think it was totally worth it. For me, between this and the It Cosmetics, I would have been perfectly happy about just getting these two. The other things were just bonuses. So the Tarte palette, the lipstick, and the Tony Moly were just bonuses. So for me, I would have definitely still paid $25 just to get these two items because they're worth it in my opinion. So I felt very, very happy about everything that came in the box last month. Even if something I'm not going to use or enjoy, I can still pass it along to somebody because that's what makeup's good for you. If you don't like it, somebody else might that you know or somebody else might know that somebody else might like it that you're friends with or whatever so you can pass it along to them so they can try it out so anyway we're going to move into the march box but i'm going to pause you guys for two seconds okay guys i'm right back so i had to let my camera cool just a little bit it decides to overheat like really quickly lately and i'm like it can be recording for 10 minutes and all of a sudden it's overheating i don't know what's wrong with it so here is the March box for Ipsy. So we're going to peel this open and see what's all inside of here. I'm really excited. I'm crossing my fingers that it's a really good one, but we'll see. So we have our blue little foam stuff here to protect your products, which is nice. And it has the same saying, they'll be pretty like them, be pretty like you. And then we've got our little pamphlet here that's going to give us all the information on the products that are inside of here. I don't want to take a peek yet. Oh my goodness, I see some good things already. So I did do a add-on with my purchase so I added on this Ofra highlighter so with the add-ons you can add ons for I think they're $12 and then $3 for like the deluxe sizes so I added this on this is the Ofra highlighter in Star Island so I've never seen this shade honestly so I have no idea what it looks like but I did do this as an add-on so here's what it looks like oh my gosh that's really pretty so there's what it looks like swatched oh wow okay that's nice that's really, really pretty. So I'm excited about that. So this was, I think $12 is what the add-on was, but I can't be positive to be honest with you. I don't remember. And then the other add-on I did was from Illamasqua. This is the Hydra Veil. This is a 0.2 ounce. So this is a tiny one. I think this was like $3 though. I'm thinking Illamasqua is pretty expensive though. So there's what the packaging looks like. It's a very fancy like. It looks like an orb. So, whoa, what in the world? What is that? It looks like crystallized. I don't know what in the world that is. Okay, it's jelly-like. Okay, we'll have to try that out. I have no idea. I've never tried it before, so I'm excited about trying that out. They were just, like I said, you can go in when you get your box from Ipsy. You can go in and add different things to your box, so when it ships, it has those items added into it. So I think it's cool that they do that. First thing I see in here is from Benefit. This is the Dandelion Shy Beam. This is the Nude Pink Matte Radiance Highlighter. How does that work? How can it be matte and radiant? I'm confused. So here's what the packaging looks like. The packaging's really pretty. I've never tried this before. I don't think so anyway, not that I can remember. So let's see what matte highlighter. So it's like a stick type of form. It looks like a fingernail polish. I'm like, let's paint my nails. So let's see, there's what it is. It looks like, so far it looks like Pepto-Bismol. And then we're gonna What is this? 
I'm confused. It's coming off like a concealer. What is this? I'm gonna have to like watch somebody's video that used this before or something because I have no idea how to use that. It's definitely not a highlighter. I don't know what it is. It looks like a pink concealer. Like it almost covered up my burn on my hand. So it looks like a pink concealer. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Let's see what it says. Maybe it'll tell us in here. That's a good thing. Hang on, let me find it. Uh, oh my goodness. Okay, it says, this is a $26 product. So this is 26 bucks right here. It says, we all want glowy features, but some of us prefer to radiate without the sparkle. This matte highlighter adds a lift from within glow with a diffused finish for an even, hmm, elegant luster. I always get tongue tied when I'm reading to you guys. I think y'all make me nervous. It says, tip, the nail polish light brush makes it easy to paint on the areas you want to highlight. Then just use your finger, your ring finger to blend it out. I'm just confused by it, honestly, because it does not look like highlighter to me. I mean, it's not like dry or anything either. So it's just a really weird product. Okay, moving on. Now we have these brushes by Thera Beauty. I think we've had some before from this brand. And honestly, that I can remember, the brushes were just okay. They were not that good in my opinion. Like they were just mediocre because the brush handles were very weak feeling, like not very heavy made. And for the price that I remember, if I can remember correctly, they were pretty expensive. So now let's see what these feel like. These are eye brushes. Last time we had a face brush. Again, these are super lightweight, like super, super lightweight. And I don't like the sound they make when they like scrape together. It's giving me the heebie-jeebies. So I'm not going to play with these too much. Ah, it's like nails on a chalkboard for me. So here's what it looks like in the little brushes here. So you get five of them. So it looks like you have a flat brush. You have a two fluffy crease brushes. So actually they say what they are. So we have a large shading brush. We have a fly wings brush. What in the world? I've never heard anybody call one that. This is a tapered blending. We have a short shading. And then we have a tapered blending. So that's all the brushes here. So I'm excited to try them out. But I don't like the sound they make when they rub together. I'm going to have to sit them over here so they don't rub together anymore. It will give me a whole cold chills. Um, let's see. These are valued at $50. I told you they were a really expensive brand. In my opinion, I don't feel like it's worth it so far for those brushes. Those brushes, I would not pay. Oh, I'm going to pick them up. I would not pay $50 for these. No, no. It says use with cream powder products or dampen the brush with setting spray to amp up the pigment of any eyeshadow. No, nope, nope, nope. Not $50 for those brushes. The next thing in here is from Pure Lease. This is the Pure Lease Prevent Blue Lotus Balancing Moisturizer for hydration, fine line prevention, perfect for under makeup for normal, dry, and sensitive skin. Ooh, <laughs> that sounds good. So we're getting another moisturizer. So that's cool. We had a moisturizer last month. We're getting a moisturizer again. So let's see what this one's like. We'll put a little bit on this hand. This one always gets like neglected. So we'll give it a little bit of attention today. Um, it smells very clean, almost citrusy like. It smells really, oh, it's definitely very, very thick and hydrating. So I really like this so far. So though, so far this is feeling really nice. So this is $45. Holy smokes. It says apply morning and night for soft, smooth, and moisturized skin. The easy to tote tube makes it easy to reapply on the go for those really dry days. So I don't know. We'll give it a try. My hand feels really moisturized right now. Like this hand feels amazing. This one where I put the serum earlier. Yeah. This one feels absolutely amazing right now. So whew, we'll have to give that a shot. The next thing is something that I already own. This is the Huda Beauty. This is the Mauve, Mauve Obsessions palette. So I own this already in my collection. So I'm actually not going to use this. I'm going to use this for like a gift or giveaway or something. So here's what it looks like in the, in the pan. But I will show you guys when I do like the, when I use mine, I'll go ahead and use mine again to talk about it for next month. So I won't touch this one. I'll just open it up quick and show you quickly. So this is, I think they're like 30 bucks, 27. So this is $27. It says, work on a moody look by dusting the lightest shades along the brow bone and inner corners. Blend the darkest shades into the crease and add a pop of shimmer to the center of the lid with your finger. So basically do an eye look. So it's not anything extraordinary that they're telling us to do there. And then the last thing in the box is from Pixie. This is Pixie by Petra. This is called the Lash Lift 188. I'm gonna see this wand. That's what, why is there looking like there's two different openings? 
This is interesting. I want to see why it looks like it can open twice. Let's see. Does it open twice? It does. What in the world? Okay, so there's a little bitty wand. Okay, and then a big wand. What in the world? It doesn't smell like... It smells a little bit like something. Not bad, though. That wand's a little bit wonky and crazy looking, but we'll try it out. That is really cool, though. What a really interesting technique. I mean, our packaging. So you have two different wands in one package. That is absolutely amazing. I love that. So this is $18. It says, use this mascara regularly for healthier lashes over time. Ingredients like castor oil condition and promote fullness, polypeptides, nourish and fortify, and pentanol moisturizes and conditions. So this is actually a good mascara for your lashes too. So not only is it really unique packaging, but it's supposed to be good for your lashes. So I'm excited about that. Very, very excited. So I will add everything up and then throw the amount right in here, how much my March box is. I think I added up my BoxyCharm last time wrong. So I'm not going to do it in person or live again. I'll add it up to make sure I don't miss my number. <laughs> so anyway, I'd love to know, do you get the Ipsy Glam Bag Plus as well? What do you think of it? Are you happy with it so far? For 25 bucks, I feel like they're definitely like doing a great job, honestly say for I mean I'm not unhappy with it so far I think they're doing great I'm excited to see what they come out with in the future in our boxes see if it continues to be great or if it just starts to go downhill we don't know we'll have to see anyway thank you guys so much for watching and until next time I'll catch you guys later